In this video I show you how to run a simple survival analysis with JASP. Here we have our dataset, we have time to event, here it's leukemia patients and the event we are interested in unfortunately is death, so how many months until the patients die, status, one is the event that is death, zero is censoring, so patients that drop out of the study not because they die but because for some reason it's not possible to do a follow-up for those, and the variable x denotes two groups. Maintained is a group that got additional maintenance chemotherapy and non-maintained didn't get this additional therapy. And we are interested in whether this additional maintenance chemotherapy is helpful for survival. To analyze that we use the survival module of JASP. If you don't see it here just click on the plus in order to activate it. Time to event goes here. Event status here. Please make sure that the event indicator is the correct one, so 1 in this case is death, and for factors there you put in the grouping variable. Here we see a Kaplan-Meier summary table. The most interesting thing is the median survival time. We can see we have a longer median survival time for the maintenance group, however we have quite a small sample. So in order to see whether this is significant, let's do a log rank test. That's a test to compare the survival between both groups. Here we can see it's just barely not significant, probably due to the very small sample. There are other possible tests, P2 and P2 and Fleming-Harrington. If you want to know which of those tests is the best for your re specific research question, I've put a link in the video description to a survey article that compares those different possible tests. In addition, I would like to look at a live table. Here we can see for both groups how the survival probability over time develops. And we can plot this with the survival curve plot. First let's look at it without the confidence interval. The green line is the maintenance group, the orange line the non-maintenance group, and you can see here these plus signs. That are signs for censoring. Now let's look at it with the confidence interval, and here we can see that there is a certain amount of overlap leading to the non-significance log rank test. That's it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.